Lopez here from the Wolf Hunters, and we have a reaction video for you. I was so you. Oh, you. That's uh, when you put your hand into the the vortex. Is that what it is? Oh look, there it went in the vortex. <laughs> <laughs> Um, our social media platforms are above. The links are below in the description box. Today's video is brought to you by Guy Wadi. CWs. 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 <laughs> like GWC. CWs. Yeah. I don't know. Do you see CW? <laughs> uh, anyways. All right. The GWC. All right. Guy Whitey Corn Good here bringing us a track. Yeah, Guy. All Woo. right. Woo. 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 <laughs> Woo. Anyways, all right. All right. All right. All right. On to seriousness. Seriousness. Okay. So this song is by Swallow the Sun. It is called Lumina Aria. And Guy Whitey Corn Good wrote us a note. We are going to read it to you. Read it. Together. Read it and we. This is no. like. Yeah, we're going to read you this note. It's a little emotional. So, um, I'm just going to start from the beginning. This is Lumina Aria by Swallow the Sun, the main project of Aaliyah's partner, Juha, off the Lumina Aria EP. It was released about a month before the full-length studio Aaliyah tribute album, Swallow the Sun, did. Um, I'm assuming this is the album title uh, or something. When a Shadow is Forced into the Light. Yes, the tribute album. Um... This is the first truly original composition Juha did after Aaliyah's death. So we mm. all, we know it's going to be emotional. Um, it features Einar Selvik from Warjuna. Wow, that's cool. Yes. Yeah. We love that guy. Um, on Bukorn, Buckhorn, I'm sorry. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that instrument, but we also know it's going to be a, a, a an ancient cultural instrument of some sort if we know Einar like we do. Um, and Marco Benevento and the foreshadowing as the Latin choir. The Latin tag for the song translates to death is stronger than life. Love is stronger than death. Dang. I'm just excited that there's going to be a Latin choir. That's awesome. Um, Juha says this. Lumina Aria is a song I would never want to write in my life. It is an open, bleeding black wound from the last two and a half years of my life. Wow. But I had to write it out. I could not back down from it. The way I wrote and recorded Lumina Aria was so rough emotionally and physically that I think I will never talk about it publicly. Wow. I know this road will go on forever as part of me, but I've also made a peace with it, that I will never have peace with it, and that the mm. life and the journey here must still go on for a while while those of us, for those of us remaining. Wow. That is, I mean... Yeah, I mean that that is so true, you know. Um so wow, what what we we love what Juha has done for um in honor of Aaliyah. We yeah. we just we love it so much. We talk about it every single video. Um and um I can't imagine what it would be like to write you know, a song right after the death of my um partner. Mm -hmm. So my heart is broken for Juha. So mm. we are going to get into this. Um, but before we do, guys, head on over, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment below if you wish. And let's get into this. Swallow the Sun, Lumina Aria. All right. Did you hear that sound I made? No. Nope. I blocked you out. <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, that's cool. That is cool.
cameraman's on point. I know. Okay, holy smokes. This is a, so much emotion. Um, you know, in the beginning when it came in, it really felt like it really felt like uh, uh, that um, the instruments were doing like this thing that you would see in a in a in a motion picture at a very, very emotionally mm. um, crazy part, like maybe like in a war scene or something like that, where, where you know, something devastating would happen. And you just felt that emotion coming through that, that devastation. And then, you know, as these vocals start to come in, you can just hear and feel pain and anger. And, you know, all of those things just bubbling out of, of this person. And, um, man, it just comes across so prevalently that my heart is literally breaking inside. Mm. Like, you know, just, I just want to hug a Juha, you know, and mm. just, that wouldn't even, I know that that wouldn't make it better in this moment in this track, but, um, man, releasing emotion, he, he did. That's, yeah. I feel like a hand has gone into my chest and grabbed my heart and tugged on it a little bit, you know. I mean, from the visuals to the sounds, it's just... Yeah, the cameraman is also doing wow. a phenomenal Beautiful. job getting these shots and also creating this emotion. And then um, also that drum, the drum that was mentioned. Uh, Ooh, uh, corn. Yeah, that... <sighs> Oh, that's so intense. I'm absolutely loving it. This is this is fabulous.
Dominus in terram cecidimus. Abiecti longe eva atque homo. De illis pei turribus ardentibus. Qui portus erantus quod spiritum extremi. You know, this does remind me a lot of a soundtrack because of the intricacy. Like, there's so many details so much detail. into every single part of the sounds of the song. Then you've got the choir and everything like that, and it is just so detailed. And it, everything is so on purpose. Yes. Like yes. even the length that something lasts in the track yeah. is is done. For a reason. And how it comes yeah. and then goes and then something else takes its place and yeah. things like that. Yeah, it's really thought out. I mean, that's, that, yeah. that takes, a, that takes a, a, a very, like a genius brain, you know, to plan yeah. those kinds of things. Te perilut flumen nigrum secutus
Let us goodness how many sounds are in this track it's so mysterious yeah I, I, you know even from the very beginning when that guitar came in and it was just a huge change in the track and you're just like but yes this just helps the feelings helps the emotions come across so perfectly and then you have the the choir going in right now you hear those voices but they're but they're muted and muffled in the background while you know this this um, this talking is happening over it and it just, it really just puts things like, I feel like you can feel this space emotionally where, you know, everything just starts to get sort of blurry, you know, um, and, and there's just so many different instruments and things that like, I was just pulling apart in the last minute, um, that like you were saying last time, we're just so purposefully on there and so needed, but all so different. Like this is just a really creative track, um, you know, obviously brought forth by huge emotion, but I'm, I really appreciate it. It's beautiful. Placement. Can't even believe it. Yeah. <sighs> wow. That is powerful. That is way more than a song. Yeah. Totally. Way more than a song. An entire production, you know, absolutely a display of emotion and, um, you know, I am so, Jua says I could never, you know, talk about the, the, how this all came together, this recording, um, but 
man, just the the production of it, it says a lot. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Great teamwork, too. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful collaboration. Yeah. 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 Uh, thank you so much for that guy, Whitey Corn Good. Thank you guys for hanging out. If you enjoyed hanging out, hit subscribe. If you liked the video, hit subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay positive. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I just want to bang my dick. I just want to